What's up, Totally Inspired community? Welcome to another episode of Totally Inspired with me, your girl, Sibo Dube. Today, I just want us to take a moment to spend some time on a devotion. And today, I really want to speak to somebody who's in a position where they have to make a big decision or they are at the crossroads. They don't know which direction to take. Before we go ahead, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and please do give me a huge thumbs up if you like this content. As I mentioned, today we are going to be having a devotion. And today's devotion will be taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. And in this verse, the Bible says, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Just know that confusion does not come from God. And that is what I want us to dwell on today. And hopefully at the end of this devotion, if you have been sitting with a situation where you are confused and you don't know what decision to make, you will know exactly what to do based on the three points that I'm about to share with you. Perhaps let's just go back and find out then if the Bible says that for God is not the author of confusion. You might want to know who then is the author of confusion. Well, there's no prizes for guessing who that would be. And that would be the father of lies, the enemy, the devil. He is the author of confusion. He is more excited when he sees you confused and unable to reach a decision concerning the important things in your life. And the lies that the devil tells you could range from you're not good enough, um, they don't like you, you are not loved. Um, those are the kind of lies that the enemy will always throw to you. And what channel does he use to transfer those lies? Well, the devil has a tendency to use other people as vehicles through which he communicates to you and that causes you so much confusion. He also has a tendency to play with your thoughts and make you think that whatever he's saying to you is truth. So be mindful of the people that you bring into your life and the opinions of those people. Also be mindful of your thoughts because normally when those thoughts are giving you sleepless nights, they're not giving you peace, then that is lies that are coming from the enemy. If a person is there in your life and often draining you of your peace and your joy, then you know that this person is actually has been planted in your life to transfer the lies that the enemy wants you to hear. Some of the worst mistakes that we make as human beings, you know, some big life-changing mistakes that we make could be avoided if only we yield to the voice of God and hear what he's guiding us to do. Because when anything comes from God, it gives you a sense of peace. The kind of choices that I can think of at the top of my head could be relational choices. It could be business choices. It could be choices relating to your well-being or health. All of these are some of the big choices that we come across in our day-to-day -day lives. Naturally, as human beings, when we need to make big choices, there are so many people or so many options that we give ourselves to get ideas on how we move forward. Sometimes we call a friend. Sometimes we go on to Dr. Google if it's a health related thing or we even visit a psychologist. These are just ways in which we try and cope as human beings. Of course, as Christians, when we find ourselves in a situation where we are confused and we need to make a decision, it is important to consult God above everything else. Before you call that friend, before you put it on your WhatsApp status, call God because that is where you will find direction that will give you peace and direction that is going to be probably the best choice that you could ever make. So I would like to encourage somebody that is listening right now, watching this video, who is at the crossroads regarding a situation. I want to encourage you that whatever decision that you're about to make, if it doesn't give you peace, then you know that that decision is not coming from God. Anything that authors confusion in your life, when you feel that you are of a divided mind and you can't make a decision or your spirit is not settled regarding your choice, then you know that is not the decision that God will have you make. When you have a big decision to make, it is always commendable as a child of God to seek the counsel of God. When you are confused, that is a sign that you do not have knowledge, you lack wisdom. And what does the Bible say about people who lack wisdom or knowledge? Firstly, we are told that if you lack wisdom, ask of it from God, who shall give it to you without reproach? 
you must be aware of the fact that the Bible tells us that when you lack wisdom, when you lack knowledge, you are bound to perish. So for you to avoid further confusion that will lead to bad decisions, seek for knowledge. And how do you seek for that knowledge? It's when you engage in prayer, when you engage in the word and hear what God has to say about that matter that you're confused about. I kid you not, the Bible has an answer for every life situation. All you need to do is not to be lazy to read the word. A lot of Christians nowadays are very lazy to immerse themselves in the word. That is why there is so much deception in the world because Christians no longer know what God says about things that concern them. So immerse yourself in the word. That is why when I started in this devotion, I said a lot of people make bad choices because they have not sought the truth and the peace that God provides in his counsel. Then finally, I would like us to remember that God is the author of peace. God does not sow confusion in our heads. God wants you to live a life of joy and peace. And you must tap into that peace that God provides for you as a believer. Because God is a source of peace, you must also be mindful that if any decision that you've made is taking away your joy and is taking away your peace, then you know that God is not in it. Any decision that you are making that gives you sleepless nights and makes you uneasy, then you know that it is not coming from God and you need to go back and seek his counsel about that matter. So simply put, you know you've made the right decision when after you've made that decision, you've got a sense of peace, you've got a sense of joy, and you're able to live with that decision without any regrets or any doubts. Then you know, certainly, when you have made a good decision over any matter, you will enjoy the peace that surpasses all understanding. That's it from me today. I do hope this video has helped somebody, especially if you are someone that is in a position where you're looking to make a big decision concerning something in your life. I do hope you will be able to go into the word and understand that you can tap into the peace that God offers you because God is not the author of confusion. He actually provides us with his peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Do take care and please do continue to pray, do continue to read the word because that is where the wisdom of every believer resides. Until next time, keep inspiring and remember to subscribe, comment, like and share.